Today, I am going to be telling you how to make this in this. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be showing you how to make the 501st Battle Pack into a Republic fighter tank. Now with that said, remember to turn that like button as blue as the 501st by pressing it, and let's get started. Also quickly, I'm not a very creative person. These were all designed and instructions were made for them by this awesome man by the name of Brickolier. He designs all these things because he's a crazy person and he's really good at what he does, so I recommend checking him out. Also subscribe because if this video hits over 1,000 likes, I'm going to be showing you how to turn this 501st Battle Pack into a Republic gunship set, again courtesy of Brickolier. Now the first thing we are building is the 501st first Republic fighter tank, and it did certainly prove to be a little bit difficult. Now Brickolier actually left some pretty epic instructions, he really did a great job with these. I'll totally make sure to leave a link in the description. Now let's open up! Dang, that thing's strong. We're just gonna dump it all out, and let's get started with it. And like that, I got to work. Just want to point out an awesome feature, you tap this piece in and then it connects to this piece right here which connects like this. I, I just think that's a really neat technique. Also look at all the clone parts! The clone heads are being summoned by the devil. We have the center side done and I'll say it's very fragile so far. The right side has officially been done. Don't you always get bothered when pieces aren't pushed in all the way? I get bothered by that. Like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished. But then I realized there are so many extra pieces, and then I realized he has instructions for a side build, so let's get into that now. And it looks like we finished that particular build too. And we don't even have that many extra pieces, it was actually pretty much all used up. Now with that said, let's take a good dive into what this set looks like, as well as the additional second barrier defense thing. Now I would like to remind you all that you get this entire value for under $50, plus four crummy droids. Now that's eight minifigures, four battle droids, basically 12 figures for a $50 value. That's insane. And beyond that, you're getting an entire Republic fighter tank build with this side barricade with this custom build on me. Now with that said, let's get into it to see if it's worth it to just build your 501 first builds or if it's actually cool to build these custom ones right here. And I will say as someone who has built many custom sets and for how fragile this thing actually is, this was a really nice building process and I had a really good time with it. So huge props to him on these building instructions. Now here is the main build, the Republic fighter tank. And just to compare, I brought in the original Republic fighter tank that came out a couple years ago. And here's what they look like in comparison. And I feel like this one actually fixes a lot of proportional problems that this one had while actually not looking bad, which for a, you know, mishmash of a set, it's really quite a good deal. Now this set is built into two sections. These are the two side panels and this is the central build. They connect quite simply. All you have to do is connect this piece right here as well as this piece right here and you will notice the blasters are extraordinarily fragile. You can literally tap it like this and it will break off. It is very, very fragile. And I don't know if anyone noticed, but there are 501st Troopers on the inside. You can actually see they have a full window view, which is fantastic. And all around details on this thing are just great. One of my favorite builds I think I've ever seen is the way they integrated this particular feature here. Like the official set, and right here, they did it much better with this one in my opinion. And you can even move to the back. The detailing's great. Again, a little looser back here because there's no clip-ons that are really connecting it. There's only one single clip, which while it works, it's not probably the most effective thing you could do. Now here is the main front area, you know this is what you guys were all excited for, the area where they pop out inside if you want, you could store two, not one, but two 501st Troopers and you probably squeeze in a third. Included here is an entire station. So first off we will actually move over here and there's a little bit of a refueling station. Now this comes with some extra little things, I guess if you want to refuel your thing and by the way there is that sus among us piece. Was anybody going to respect Lego when the funniest thing we can do is say that a Lego piece looks like an Among Us character! There's actually an area to load torpedoes into the set, so if you want to add more torpedoes, all you have to do is grab some off that rack. And then here's the most self-explanatory build. It's a turret. It's very simple. It's a very easy defense structure. And we also have a bit of this command station. I'm not entirely sure what it's doing here, but it, it's, it's something cool. I guess you could 
type some data in here. There's nothing really particularly special about it. I just thought it was kind of neat. And then finally, there's a little charging station for this little guy. He's a little drone dude that, I guess, you know, pilots around the desert to see, you know, what's going on. You could charge him here. That's kind of a neat little detail. And finally, there were some extra pieces that he had that were not used in any of his instructions. Again, that was also his instructions. But this is my own thing. I decided I wanted to make this. There were a bunch of extra pieces left over, namely these. And we used up pretty much all the pieces after this. Now, the only thing this is really missing is some sticker pieces. But luckily, we have two entirely brand new sticker sheets to apply to this. I'm going to go apply some on here and see how they look. And I'll get back to you once I'm finished. Okay, ladies and gents, so I actually stickered everything up. You see a few uses of stickers on here, but the main event was on the tank, and I am so happy with the way it turned out. You guys can see all of the usage I got out of this. You could probably replicate this on your own version. He didn't recommend this. I just thought it looked kind of cool. And, you know, I kind of fit it all around. You have some of these back near the exhaust. You have some of these just here. It made sense. Uh, you have some of these, like... Stickers. I'm not sure what they are, but I've managed to use every single sticker on this entire sheet, which is quite honestly fantastic and I absolutely love. Now this looks like a very formidable force to take on a whopping four B1 battle droids. And by the way, you might want to do this sooner than later because we just got news the file for Spalp Hackers retiring in 2022. So if you want to buy one now, I'll leave an affiliate link to Amazon in the description for $24. Again, it helps out the channel a metric ton. So with that said, tell me what you think of the sit down below. Are you going to be building it? Because if you do, he has instructions on his video. I will leave a link to that in the description. If you want to make your own of these, again, using only two 5 overs battle pack. And again, stay tuned for another video where we are hopefully going to be turning this into a Republic gunship, and he has tons of other designs. We could even turn this thing into a literal droid army. So tell me what you see down in the comments below. Also, check out these videos. I'll see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.